Being a guitarist, a lover of amps, multi-effects pedals and pedals, I have no doubtedly purchased and built many pedal boards. During a recent conversation with one of my best buddies, Jay Carter, he was telling me that he had purchased a 3D printer and asked if there was anything I would like him to print. Jay told me to go check out www.thingiverse.com and see if there was anything on the website that looked interesting. Jay sent me some links from the website of various musical things to print. One suggestion from Jay was the Boss Looper guitar pedal board. Over the last few months, Jay has printed various pedal boards for me. Each pedal board has improved and he has even incorporated a modification I asked for, which makes the pedal board even more pedal friendly. The rest of the video will be some pictures of the different variations Jay has printed for me, some information about the equipment he used, the cost and even the weight. So, if you have a friend that has a 3D printer or maybe you already own one, this pedal board might be something you are interested in. I think the original concept was to use wood for the center pieces between the brackets but Jay, being the rock star he is, figured out the dimensions of what the centerboards needed to be, used a CAD program to define them and printed them out. Perfect for a nano pedal board. This pedal board was a little bit wider. Good for mini pedals. I added foam feet to the bottom of each bracket. One modification that I asked for was to add a little ledge to the bottom of the pedal board. I'm not a big fan of having to put Velcro on a pedal board, especially if I don't have to. You can still use Velcro on a pedal board with a ledge, but it also allows the use of pedals easily without having to use Velcro, and this also makes it a little easier to swap pedals in and out. Sometimes, I like to use my pedal board on top of the cabinet or the amp, which makes it easier for tweaking the amp or the pedals. Each pedal board has improved slightly, and now that Jay has the pedal board dialed in, the next pedal board printed was not only functional but also beautiful. Drum roll please. I would like to introduce the Purple Passion pedal board. This pedal board works perfectly for my Flamma pedals. The purple pedal board compared to a Pedal Train Nano. The purple pedal board and the Pedal Train Nano are roughly the same size. The 3D printed pedal board weighs 2.2 ounces less. The total filament used was 269 grams. The total print time was 11 hours and 50 minutes. With the filament at 2 cents per gram, the total cost of filament for the pedal board was $5.38. The use of filament, the time to print and the cost for the grey pedal board is the same as the purple pedal board. Obviously, the 3D printer was not factored into the cost of the pedal board. The Creality Ender 5 Plus 3D printer is the one that was used to print the pedal boards I have, if you were curious.